my background audience. Oh, many of you are complaining on screen there about the terrible signal today. And what can I, what can I say? Uh, I can only blame Badger's Wi-Fi. In fact, I'm not connected to his Wi-Fi. That would probably have been a good idea. Never mind. Never mind. Can't afford to uh, can't afford to connect to the Wi-Fi until I get a few more cells of the sports socks. I tell you what. Let's take a look around this. This. Um, I'm going to unplug the phone. Try not actually. turn the show off. We're going to have a little investigation of uh, this, this here guard sale because it's very interesting. You can get a little tour of Badger's garden as well. Um, keep the complaints rolling in. No, it wouldn't be the same. Didn't have them. Uh, it's saying poor signal today. Terrible signal. I don't know if that's the accordion signal you're talking about or just the general uh, signal. Right. Now here's here's my tiny part-time secretary, Julian Cook. And her tiny little wares. Look, she makes tiny little badges. See if I can sell some of these for you. Um, here we go. Show it, show it. Present it. Present it to the camera. Look at these. Tiny little badges. They are lovely. How much are these? Oh, the magnets. It's a fruit magnet. Only 50p. Only 50p. And I forgot to put the PayPal thing up today, but it's PayPalme. Uh, forward slash Sandy Breakin. I want to put 50p in there. I promise I'll give it to Sylvia. Yeah, right. Uh, now look at here. Oh, look. There's my Uncle Albert at the end. <laughs> oh, now he's got a better accent than me. That's it. Oh, Uncle Albert, what are you doing here? Plus, you should be at, you should be at home in your bath chair. You just, I know, I know. You can't get out you're, now and you're, you're, you're putting all the customers off buying your stuff. Where, it's, it's, it's good stuff. Where, where, where are your washboards this year? You always have to bring out the same washboards every year. washing this morning. <laughs> they're still, they're still, they're still wet. I, I know that you're a big school repairman. I see that you've got your latest creation here. Um, this is the full, the full adult size ladies is, bicycle, yeah, is it? Full adult size. How much is that? You just add water. <laughs> This one looks more like uh, my kind of thing here. It's, it's in bits at the minute. Is it, yeah, yeah. Is it a collapsible it's a bike? Do it yourself. Do yourself. Yeah. Well, that's very exciting. I could spend many happy it's years around putting around that together. And uh, there's a guitar. I, I don't understand why you're. This is another guy. Ah. Albert, my guy. Oh, yeah, that's Uncle Albert's long lost brother, <laughs> Uncle Fulbert. <laughs> Um, the, the, Hello, thing, the thing is, I don't understand much why you've not got your recording out for sale with this guitar, because surely you can't be planning on playing it ever again. Correct. Uh, <laughs> would you like to give us a tune in a little minute? In a minute. Uh, okay, in a minute. We'll let you get on just now. Okay. okay let's go over and look at Julia's stall, because Thank it's... Oh, look, plants. I might See, buy yeah, some of these yeah. of plants. How are you doing? Uh, what have we got? Oh, bins. Oh, there's lots of lovely rubbish in these bins. Let's see what's in here. Oh, my God, there's lots of lovely stuff in here. Oh, old newspapers. Oh, let's, let's see what's in Badger's bins. Oh, orange juice. He's had, he's had his healthy orange juice this morning. Oh, he uses the extra large toilet roll size. Uh, oh, here's a, here's a young child dressed as Spider-Man. Hello there. You're on TV. Oh, there's an even younger child. Oh, my God, they've got Molly just here. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I lost the signal there. Just as Julia was about to... Uh, Show you our fantastic CDs. Look at that, only ten pounds. Available on online as well, and uh, lots of other great stuff. Jigsaws, jigsaws, yeah. Oh my goodness, look at this! It's an it's a, it's an accordion player meeting of the. Oh, it's Angus from TV. Hello, Angus. It's the first time we met. Angus Delboy, lovely to meet you. Hello, is this? Uh, Oh my goodness! I can't believe it's working already! Wow, this is the first time we've been introduced to these children. It's, they, they've, they've sprung up in lockdown. That's what happens in lockdown. Somebody everybody comes back and goes, oh, I've got kids now. He's <laughs> <laughs> four. Well, okay. A couple of years before that. It's Matthew McLaren, Fibulous Box player. Right, I'm going back to try and play something before I lose all my audience. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just okay. Right, here we go. Back to the cutting corner. I might have to take this jacket off actually because it's very, very hot. Uh, who would have believed it would be so... Who would have believed it would be so muggy down here in Stockbridge, eh? Ah, there we go. Right, I'm going to take the jacket off. Hopefully, hopefully it won't get sold by mistake while I'm playing. Right. Now, oh, here's a little set of my own compositions. This is called Fuck Fast at Tiffany's. <laughs>
Kirstey, Kirstey. Ah. Okay, whoa, coughing, coughing secret. Wow. Oh. That was magic. Uh, now, what are we going to play now? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I haven't thought that far ahead. What I will tell you is that in this jacket today, which was lent to me by my friend, Tall Paul. Wow, what a fantastic jacket. Only Tall Paul would have something like that. Like that. Uh, in fact, the whole gear, this and this gear, was all cool. Uh, yeah, uh, in, in it, in the pocket, I think, five quid. What's the chance of that? I was five quid up before I even began the show. Brilliant. Here's a little tune called The Crepper. Baby crawling towards me. Across the deck, you can't, you can't see me. Say, my dad plays one of these. But better.
I've had an amazing display of crawling babies and dancing toddlers there. I don't know if you can see the baby crawling towards me. He's going, what is that? What is that mysterious sound? I can't st I can't prevent myself from going over to hear it more of it. And look, there's a dancing toddler. Well, I, I, I can't believe I've just spotted, I've just spotted Rodney there. I've been looking for him for ages. Look, there he is there. Let's go and speak to him, shall we? Look, Rodney. Rodney, where, you, where have you been? Where have you been? I've been looking for you all over, Rodney. Look, that's perfect. I was looking for a perfect Rodney. He's, he's tall and skinny. Rodney, you plump up. Now, uh, do you have a solo up there, up there on the stage? Solo? Yes, oh. that's a solo. Oh, uh, okay. All right, let's calm down. No way. Goodbye, Bryony. Goodbye. Goodbye, Angus. You're leaving the stage. Angus is leaving the stage. Angus. Angus. Okay. Come back when the show gets better. Oh, that means never. <laughs> Lovely to play, lovely to play, do you think in there? Ow. Oh, right. Ah, now. We've got something very exciting for you now. We've got old Uncle Albert himself. Oh, how's he gone? Yeah, yeah. I need to lower this. Because he's a little midget. Oh, look at this. It's his intent, it's his personal intensive care nurse. Sarah Brown. Fresh, fresh from the operating theatre. Come to check up if he's still alive. Uh, wow, this is fantastic. What a show we've got. I don't even know what they're going to play. By the way, special price, two, two, two pairs for pants, four socks. 
Alright, okay. Don't bother with two up, guys, I never bought you. That's a great time, got there. Eh, 15. He's a new set. Still running the stall from over here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, 15. Make it 14. <laughs> I'm doing no memory at all, Father. Ah, okay. <laughs> Here we go, Del. We're going to take it away. Ah, Roger Albert. Thank you very much, Sir Brian, Julie Duggan, and Uncle Albert himself. Carry on, we go. Have a good day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I've got lots more complaints. We've got somebody phoning in, actually, uh, to complain about uh, not the music, but unusually, but the signal. And uh, yes, David Brady, did you buy a dodgy cheap single off the signal off the back of a van? <laughs> yes, of course did. It's probably my phone trying to connect to Brad's Wi Fi actually. I probably switched off the Wi Fi connection. Anyway, uh, apparently it keeps breaking up for you guys out there, but it, it looks like it's working okay here. So, um, what we're going to do is just finish the show early by five minutes because I don't want to talk to you anymore. Ah, oh well, I've just got a request coming from Margaret Montgomery for Captain Pugwash. Uh, yeah, she probably would sound great together, but they've all gone now, so I'm just going to play for you one more.
Absolutely right, Margaret. That was the uh, sailor's hornpipe as well as the uh, steam, which is the trumpet hornpipe. So you got two hornpipes, and that is not uh, inappropriate because if I lift up the camera, which is on a stand, which is why I'm a little bit clumsy with it today, and take you over the wall here, you can see that we're actually right next to the water of Leith. Beautiful. And there's the colonies flats there. It's the colonies open day today. And as they all look the same, like rows and rows of houses, it's very, it's very easy to get confused. You go back to the wrong house late at night. That's my excuse anyway. I used to live in a colony flat. I did actually, the very first time I lived there, I went to the wrong the wrong street. It looked, they look identical. And the weird thing is, we've got different, the same name on either side of the building, not either side of the street. It's very confusing. Uh, anyway, there, look at that. Sometimes you even see ducks. In fact, when they, they built up the height of this wall because of the major flooding here in 2000, Bandra was flooded out, the slippers were floating next to his head as he woke up one morning uh, in bed, his bed was floating, his slippers were floating, everything was floating, and he had to move out for several months into a new set, while, um, while the whole place was cleaned out. Anyway, they built this big wall, that is, that, this is the very wall, built by the Kinsel, and he's had a little window built into it, so that, in fact, I'll show you the window, so a little window built into it, so you can, you can look out, you can look out his kitchen window, there's his kitchen window there, that's his kitchen window, and he looks out his kitchen window to this little window that he's persuaded the council to spend a fortune building, so you can see, he can wave his little animal friends in the water, because Badger has lots of little wildlife animal friends, the little ducks, hello little ducky, I can't believe the council agreed to that, anyway, we're just about out of time, thank god, because we're just about out of material, Julia would you rescue me for one last tune please? Okay, we're gonna do. Thank you, sir. That was wonderful. Thank you. That was wonderful. Thanks for coming to check up on old Badger. He's left me another day. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're gonna finish off with one more set. I don't know what it is yet. Uh, Julia, have you got anything in mind? Hey. All right, Julia, girl. Oh, girl. <laughs> you got anything in mind hey. to finish off this terrible show? This terrible accent, but. <laughs> Oh, great shit, yeah.
because I've had many more complaints coming in as well about the poor quality. The fish poor quality of Badger's Wi-Fi is rocking. And his marquees. His marquees is rubbish. His Wi-Fi is rubbish. His products are rubbish. His plane's rubbish. I mean, honestly, I'm never coming back here. Uh, and let me finish with this song, which hopefully the Wi-Fi will work for. Um, we got some half price cracked ice. My, uh, miles and miles of carpet tiles. DB, Deep, Freeze and David. By the LPs, Paul Kames, Cold Chains, what's the names and leather goods and Trevor Francis tracks it from a mushroom bush, 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 no income tax, no VAT, no money back, no guarantee. Black or white, rich or poor, wheel card prices had a strike. Go dash, key street. It's just the way of my voice signal, honestly, my singing's brilliant. Yes. <laughs> 